In this video, we will show how to anonymize RDF data with our anonymization software. First, we have to load the dataset in n triples format. In this case, two classes were found in the file, so we have to select a main class for the anonymization process. We choose the first one. Every instance of the selected class is represented by a row which consists of its literals. Then we have to choose quasi-identifier columns which need to be anonymized. We have to assign hierarchies to these columns. We can either load or auto-generate one. We type the name of the hierarchy. We choose type string and attribute the values of the first column. We choose sorting alphabetical and fan out two, and we create our hierarchy. All values of the literal mature species code are present in the leaves of this hierarchy and will be generalized if needed to a node in an upper level. In the same way, we auto generate a hierarchy using the values of the third column. Now we have to assign hierarchies to quasi-identifiers. Right-click on the column's title and choose the correct hierarchy. We can now choose an algorithm to anonymize our dataset. Incognito flash and parallel flash preserve k-anonymity. In k-anonymity, every combination of quasi-identifiers should appear zero or more than k times in the published dataset. When the algorithm finishes, we can see the solution space lattice in the next tab. K-anonymous states are painted with green color and non-anonymous with red. When hovering over a node, we can see the level of the generalization hierarchy that it requires for each quasi-identifier and the sample of the output. We choose this node and we click Apply. In the next tab, the original and the anonymized dataset can be seen side by side. As we can see, the two quasi-identifiers have been generalized to level 1 and 3 respectively. Finally, we can save the anonymized dataset in n triples format. And we can also export the anonymization rules. As we can see in the anonymized dataset, literals that we have chosen as quasi-identifiers have been generalized. We have also saved the anonymization rules for these two quasi-identifiers. The first column is the original value and the second one is the generalized one. 